if we have more time to discuss the detail, but not on the setting. I yeah, think. no, and what I'm doing with, I'm contrasting the linear projection and attempt to multiply linearly, just repeating, in comparison to multiplying volumetrically. So you're right in, in adding dimensions. And these necessary dimensions are dimensions that you exist in. Nothing exists in a two-dimensional space. Even a three dimension, like you talk about one dimension, two dimensions, those things are not, you cannot measure them until it has height, width, and depth. So it all becomes basically imaginary as far as the real world goes until it has at least the three dimensions of height, width, and depth. And then it needs your fourth perspective in order to be able to measure it. So when they're talking about one and two dimensional things, I'm just looking at, okay, another imaginary thing, because it has to be in motion. It has to have width. It has to have depth in order for us to be able to consider it. But they consider two dimensional space or our mathematics is all based on reductionary um, attempts to reduce things, living things down to dead things.